this is our final product that we're going to want to make. Um, you're going to have a website that I already have set up for you, and you are going to have a spot with a self-playing slideshow for your, your assignments, your sketchbook, and we're even going to have a spot and it, for our class gallery. And all you'll have to do is insert it. I'll make that slideshow for you once everybody puts their stuff into the gallery. So let's go to our school mail and let's go to our drive. And you're going to want to get to your art folder. So for me, my art folder, so I have my sketchbook. We'll do this one first. So go to your sketchbook and here in your sketchbook folder you already have all these images for yourself. What you're going to do is you're going to create a presentation. So click create and share. We'll even share it further than it, what it is. You're going to immediately choose a background and I like to choose one that really will blend in with the background of my website. I like the dark gradient. You can do something different. We really only want it to be about the pictures. So I said that, and I'm not going to go widescreen. I'm going to go standard. Now I'm going to immediately tell it to share. Um, it wants to give me a name, and this is going to be my sketchbook and click save and right away I don't know why Talia can see it but I'm <laughs> um, I'm gonna say right here where it says private only you can access I'm gonna change that to anyone with the link because if they get to my website they can view it and they can view it they can't hurt it so I'm saying done now I'm going to insert an image I want to do ones from my Google Drive. And my job's going to be a little bit harder than yours because I have a ton more stuff than you do, but here it is. So here's something for my sketchbook that I did. And that'll be on my page. It actually happens to be transparent. And to make a new slide, I hit Control M, M as in Mary. And maybe it didn't listen to me, so I'll try it again. Control M. Maybe not. If it doesn't work for you, you can go to New Slide. And then you'll insert a new image. And again, I'm it remembers where I was, so I'm gonna go to my Deviant Art picture. And then I will insert a new slide and hit image and just go ahead and choose your artwork. So you can keep on adding artwork and I will continue but I you don't need to watch me insert every single thing. You're gonna end up showing the stuff that you did that was the best quality or shows thoughtfulness. You can leave out stuff that's just scribbling like this one was me just doing a scribble. I'm gonna take that one out and I'll only add more and more thoughtful ones. But when you are any time along the process, you can hit transition. Make sure no images or nothing's chosen. Just make sure there's no blue lines on anything. Click transition. Tell it to choose a transition that you want it to have on yours. So you could do fade is nice and subtle. You could do cube. You could do flip. Anything you want, but just choose one for all of them. So I'm going to choose fade and I'm going to say apply to all slides. After that, I'm done with that phase and I want to go to my next thing to do, which would be my assignments. In when you are doing your assignments, so I'm going to go back to Jean's sketchbook. I'm going to go and create another presentation and you can say create and share and this one will be called my assignments. So up here where it says untitled, name it my. For my assignments, um, you're going to just, you're going to have to actually go to your upload, choose an image. 
and those ones should be all in your art folder so you should be able to find them by going to art pictures and then go to art and you can look at mine for the example but you should have a self-portrait and you should have your perspective one, your perspective two, your pers your final perspective, your cube, your cylinder, and your sphere on there. Okay, so it's the same process. You want to make sure you have a transition, and that it's applied to all si slides. You want to make sh sure that it's shared with. Um, anyone who has the link. So instead of specific people, change it that anyone with the link can view it. Okay? Watch the next slide to see, uh, the next video to see how to make your website and put all of this in.